Hello and welcome everybody. This is Roland Hartmann from graphicinmotion.com and in this tutorial I want to show you how to customize my Fire Logo After Effects template. Before we get started inside After Effects, let's take a quick look at the project folder. Inside the project folder you can find two different After Effects projects. The first one is a 4K Ultra HD resolution and the second one is a full HD resolution. So you can choose whatever resolution you need. Inside this folder you can also find a folder called links and there you will find two links and these are actually the audio, the sound effects that I used for the preview video and I used two here. The first one is the Inferno Fire Flames by Art of Sound and this is just a sound file of fire cracking and the other one is Mysterious Fire Logo. This is an opener and I used both of these to create the audio for this intro. So if you want to use the same sound that I did in the preview video, you can get these here from Audio Jungle. Now let's open up one of these projects in After Effects and I will use the full HD one and I will open it up with the latest version of After Effects available and you see that After Effects says that this project must be converted but don't worry this is no error it's just an information and if you click OK then everything should be fine. Now when the project is open you see that we have some compositions already open in the timeline. If they are not open here then you can always enter them here in the project area and you can just double click and open up these compositions. And to get started with the customization, we first of all have to enter our logo. So I will go to File and import my file. And it is important that your logo has an alpha channel. If we take a look here at my placeholder that I created, this is actually only a text layer and a simple shape layer here. I just created this simple logo. And if I toggle the transparency grid, you see that this has an alpha channel. And this is important if you import your logo that it also has an alpha channel applied. So I will drag in my logo and of course you can also just use shape layers and text so you do not need a logo here. You can build your own logo inside After Effects of course. Now let's just shrink this down a bit. Something like that should be fine. And now I move on to the tagline composition. Inside the tagline composition you can enter your tagline. If you do not want the tagline then just turn this text layer off or delete it. And if you want to edit it then just double click and put in your title. In my case it is my web address which is www.graphicinmotion.com and then let's choose another font here. Maybe the Nexa font and that looks good and let's put this down to zero and I will reposition it a bit and you can change the color here by using this fill effect make it a little bit white okay and now we can continue to the next composition and that is the fire setup composition Let's make sure that our time indicator is set around 4 seconds. This is important because right at this time the fire is really burning high. If you now choose the mask composition you see that we have a layer here with a mask applied on it. This mask has a few points and you also see that you can now change these points here to position. And This is important because now we have to set up a nice bottom line of our fire and let me quickly turn this adaptive resolution off that you can see what I'm doing here and I'm just grabbing these points and try to recreate the bottom of my logo and you see that by changing these points the the glow of the fire will change and this will determine the edge of the fire and this is important to make a realistic look and I would recommend that you try not to accurately follow the edge of your logo so but a little bit approximately that the shine of the fire is visible beneath your logo. As I said, you do not have to be accurate here and yeah, you can just play around with these. You can of course also add new points. If you need new points, maybe your, your logo has a shape that is a little bit more complex. You can always come in here and add new points and change these or hold down Alt and change these to Bezier curves. It is a round shape. So you can do what you want here, but make sure that you approximately trace the bottom of your logo 
as I said, you do not have to be accurate here. Now let's take a look what this does and let's move to the render composition. And you see that inside the render composition now I have a nice edge of my fire here. And if I go to my fire setup layer or composition again and just change this point here, for example, and now let's move in here and you see what this does and now the fire is, is coming out here and this doesn't look nice. So let's make sure that we trace the bottom line of our logo here. Okay, so the next step of the customization process is to change the sparks. Inside the render composition you find a layer that's called sparks. And if you select this effect that's called CC Particle World, you will see a representation here of our producer and now we want to shrink this down because this is actually way too big for our logo here so let's go to our producer settings here and change the radius on x to something that fits your logo can be a little bit bigger do not have to be precise but you know something like that and you can also change the position on the y-axis so if your logo is a little bit higher like mine i will bring it down a bit so that it approximately lines up with my bottom here, like so. Okay, so this is it for basic customization. Now we have a few options to change the look of this template and therefore we can choose the setup composition and you see we have a few controls here. First of all, we can change the background color. Now it is a little bit bluish if you maybe want it to be, let's say like brown, maybe if you want a, a warmer look here, then you can change this, of course. The next option is the background texture opacity if I set this to full for a moment and solo the background just to make this more obvious you see here we have a texture applied and if I set this to zero here then this texture is gone and then you have a very clean look maybe you do not want textures in your intro then you can always come in here and change the look of this using the background texture opacity slider now you see we have these light leaks here in front and we can also change the color of the light leak here by changing this maybe to something bluish and you see that this also has quite an influence on the overall look and feel of our intro. Then there is the light color and the light color more or less only influences the logo when it is revealed. So if we take a look at around eight seconds when the logo is fully revealed you can now change the color of the light and if I change this now to a warmer color because the background is warm too then this will have a little bit of an influence on the look of our logo. If you do not want any color changes on your logo then just set it to plain white then the original colors of your logo will be displayed. The next option here is the light intensity and this is just to control how bright your logo is in the end. If you reduce this then it will of course be a little bit darker and if you increase it then it will probably be too much and it will burn out a little bit. So standard value here is 130. The next option is the logo texture opacity. You see that we have a texture applied to this logo. So if you want to use it, you can, but you do not have to. You can always set this to zero and then the opacity of this texture will be zero and you cannot see it anymore. And this is especially cool when you are using text. So you can build cool logos easily by using a text layer inside the logo composition and then you can apply or use this pre-built texture here and can you can create quite cool logos that way. Now the next option here is the bevel thickness. You see we have a slight bevel because actually you probably already saw that we also have a slight 3D extrusion here and if I change this now to zero then of course the bevel here will be gone and we have a hard edge and you can of course also make this bigger but I think that 3 is a good value here. If you have a very fine and thin logo, then you maybe want to turn this down to two. Now we have the logo, logo bevel intensity. If you increase this, then the bevel will be brighter and more shiny. And if you decrease it to zero, then it will be gone again. Standard value here is 0 0.4. Okay, so this is the basic customization. The, the last step before rendering is to add some audio. And you see we have two audio compositions. First one is called audio and the second one is called fire sound effects. If you want to use the same audio that I did, I showed you these links here, then please download the Inferno Fire Flames and this is a sound effects and put it into the fire sound effects composition and 
the mysterious file logo which is a music file actually you can put it into this audio or let's say if you want to use any fire effects then put it into this fire sound effects and if you want to use another audio like a standard intro audio then just put it into the audio composition right here and then you're good to render out your render composition another hint you see that this work area here is set to 10 seconds if you want to extend this here you can do that so maybe you want a little bit more time to to blend or to to edit something then you can always come in here and change the out point of your work area and so your logo will be longer if you want to dive a little bit deeper into this project and take a look how this is built then you can just click here this little guy here the hide all layers button and if you click this you see that all the layers and compositions are revealed and i just activated this and hit a few of these to make this um, better organized like that is a little bit of a chaos but now you can of course really take a look what i did and you can change everything and and take a look at the fire animation and you could also change the color of the fire animation if you want so maybe you do not want this fire maybe you want the blue fire then you can always come in here and choose the fire animation for example and you could put in uh, a hue and saturation effect or a tint or whatever and put it to the fire animation let's do this for now and then you can choose colorize and you can change the colorize hue maybe to something like slightly bluish here like so a bit, little bit more saturation not too much something like that and then you can copy this effect Control and c and paste it on the fire animation too this is also an important layer and then you should also paste it on the logo precomp 2 here this one here because if you solo this you see that these are right now we cannot really see it there they are these are these these glow elements here and if i paste this in here then these will get blue too which is important and then you can of course also paste it to our bonfire the bonfire are these little sparks that are flying around everywhere so let's paste this in here too as well then they are blue and of course also to our sparks Control v paste this in and now if i turn off all my solo elements then you see now i have a nice blue fire bluish tint of fire well, it looks also quite interesting so maybe you want to create something like uh yeah a different kind of fire then you can always come in here and change the color of fire animation the two here then the sparks logo precom 2 and the bonfire and you should be good to go okay so this is it with the customization if you have any more questions then please feel free and visit my website which is www.graphicinmotion.com there you can find my contact form you can drop me a message on my website you can also find all my after effects templates and a lot of free tutorials and so on so i invite you to check this out and browse through all the things that I've got there. And of course, you can also contact me through my VideoHive profile, which is videohive.net slash user slash graphic in motion. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I really hope to see you soon. Goodbye.